I would like to tell you a story that does go somewhere, as opposed to the other two I've been telling, or my experiments in free association and uh, stream of consciousness. Uh, this story is more entertaining than the other ones, and uh, it's one I don't think I've uh, told to many people uh, in this audience. I think my good friend Andy uh, has heard this one. And it's the uh, story about when I did PCP. Uh, so this is a drug story, and you can take it or leave it. Uh, PCP also goes by the name Angel Dust and the name Wet. This story takes place, I believe, about a year ago, in 2008, in New Jersey, near Staten Island. And I didn't know when uh, the night began at this uh, particular party um, that I would be having a uh, profound uh, life-altering experience by the end of the night. The party was held in a warehouse, and uh, this warehouse was filled with arcade machines. The owner of this warehouse space it was a uh, repairman for these arcade machines, and what he did, uh, very kind of him, was open his uh, storage space up uh, for friends and friends of friends to hold parties here, private parties, of course, and... Uh, I was uh, on the list, I guess you say, you could say. Not that there was a list. Uh, he does keep a pretty tight handle on things, who he lets in and who he lets out. But given the events of the night, I feel he should be keeping a tighter watch on the door. Maybe hire somebody to just keep an eye on things. Decide uh, who he's letting in and who he's turning away. Anyway. I was there amongst arcade machines going back to uh, around 1978 and ending somewhere around perhaps the late 90s maybe early 2000. I think the most recent arcade machine that he had there running was Virtual On, a game I played once and could not comprehend. I went up to the roof of this warehouse because the roof is open. There is an access ladder that leads you to the roof. And the roof overlooks Staten Island and the rest of the visible area of New Jersey where we were. And it's a large flat roof that goes on for about most of the block, so there's lots of room up there and lots of people. And this was about ooh, one in the morning, I should say. I knew I was spending the night there, so I had uh, plenty to drink already. But I figured that most of the alcohol had left my system, and when uh, my one friend handed me a uh, pipe, I said, why not? I had smoked weed before and never purchased my own. I was always the moocher, so... 
I was that guy. But I thought myself pretty suave, and one person mentioned before that I had very good lung capacity. I think he was just being kind to me, but since he told me I had a very large ego and thought the proper way uh, to take a hit was to uh, exhale all of your breath beforehand and then intake an entire swimmer's swimmer's intake uh, through this uh, pipe. So that's what I did. Afterwards, when my friend had put his pipe away, someone else, who I didn't know, said, If you like that, you'll love this, and handed me his uh, glass contraption. And just as I had done with my friend, a very large exhale, exhalation of air combined with a equal inhalation through his glass contraption, which I held as long as my nervous system would allow until uh, coughing and spewing myself back to uh, normal breathing. <laughs> 